Well, as we think about the, the so-called five books of Moses, the Torah, or even the Pentateuch, I think it's important that we keep in mind that the word Pentateuch itself tells us we have a five-volume book. It's a, what I call a five-part miniseries. And God is telling a story in this five-part miniseries that's connected, it's related. And I think that's important to recognize as we read our scriptures, as we think about the story God is telling, uh, these are connected books. There's a theme, there's a story here that's very important. And so I think it's significant that, that we actually just pause and reflect on that. Story also reminds us that this is an invitation. Story invites us to participate, to join in. And so that also helps us appreciate, I think, what's going on here and what God is doing as he tells his story. And the Pentateuch, these, these five books of Moses, this Torah, as it's known for the Hebrew people, uh, there's the issue of problem, our sin rebellion, our dislocation from God, each other, and nature, and resolution. And that's covenant, Genesis 12, God reaching out to Abraham. That will be extended in Exodus with God reaching out to Moses and the Hebrew people. And again, that connectedness across these books. So the story of God responding to human need, human problem, human sin and rebellion, and that work of God in terms of covenant relationship, it's foundational uh, to the rest of our Old Testament, our Hebrew Bible, and the story's connected. God is going to make sure that his people understand what he's doing, how he's going to accomplish this, and there's a step-by-step progression as we think about moving from our sin and rebellion to God's solution and covenant and to uh, what's going to take place as we think about entering ultimately that land of the promise in the book of Joshua.